In today's video, I'm going to be showing you what to do if your tension band breaks like this. Now, the first thing I do, especially if I was using a new bobbin, is I look at the little groove in the bobbin and you'll be able to find the mold line. So it's right there. And sometimes that has a little rough spot. This one doesn't have that issue, but if yours does, you can use, this is just a little piece of sandpaper and you'll go in that groove and just rub back and forth just a little bit. It doesn't take too much. I mean, you can't really do too much. It's not gonna cause a problem, but if you do that for a little while, it'll smooth out any grooves. You could also use a fingernail file. Uh, this is just a regular file. You know, anything you can use to sort of take off any of the rough spots that you find in this groove is what I do. And it really makes these drive bands last a lot longer if you do that. And then after you've done that, you just need to replace the drive band. Now, this is just some string I got at my local hardware store. Uh, the string that comes on it is cotton. A lot of people like uh, different kinds of strings. People who spin really fine yarns tend to like a little bit thinner strings than come with it. Some people like a little bit thicker strings. Uh, I've seen, you know, all sorts of things from like a plastic string, a nylon, tons and tons of, I mean, pretty much any kind of string will work. But, you know, it's really up to you what your spinning preference is. I guess I would just suggest try a couple of different strings and see which one you like best. But if you're looking for something similar to what came with it, uh, just get a, a cotton string that's about the same diameter and it'll perform pretty similar. So all you need to do to replace the string is get it out of this little hole here and then unwind it and then just cut it off of this dial. There's no need to unscrew the dial. Um, you just want to get in there and cut it. That's all there is to removing the string on that side. And then on this side, it's pretty easy to get the string off. You just cut it right next to the spring. There you go. And then to tie the new string on, I just generally wrap around the dial a couple of times and then tie pretty much any simple knot here. And I'll cut the tail off with scissors. And then at this point, I just wrap extra string around the dial. There was actually someone on the forums who mentioned this a while ago, and it was definitely a clever idea. I'm sorry I don't remember their name, but uh, basically the idea is that if you put extra string around the dial at this point, when the, if the string breaks again in the future, you don't have to re-string the dial end. You just have to cut off the piece on the string and then retie some extra string to the, the spring. But after I've got some string around the dial, then I'll uh, figure out approximately how much string I need here and I'll put a little extra and I simply cut it. Then at this point, I'll just put it through the hole in the case there. And this just keeps the string nice and centered on the bobbin like this. And then I run it over the bobbin. I get over here to the side with the spring, go through the hole of the spring. And again, just pretty much any simple knot will work on this end. And then I'm cutting off the long tail again. And that's pretty much all there is to it. I just um, turn the dial a little bit. Whoops until it's got a nice amount of tension to it. And that's pretty much all there is to replacing the tension band. Hope you found this useful and thanks for watching.